Seriously. Does nobody ever, like, stop and consider them? Ever? Like, sure, I get it, we're a novelty. A small fraction of the population, either off in small towns on our lonesome, humping trees, or as just another race inside, insert city name here. But also, like, we're quite a well-known race. Okay, sure, you've obviously got your elves, halflings, dwarves, halflings, pure blood werebeasts, half orcs, regular orcs, gnomes, fawns, tiflings, etc. But I guarantee you that most people are aware that half elves are also a thing. And again, somehow, nobody ever seems to stop and consider what half elves even existing actually means. I'll say it once again half elf. The clue's in the name, or rather, it's not in the name. Half elf. That's 50%. We're a hybrid species, like your halfling gnomes, dwarf fawns, dwarf halflings, etc. again. But the orcs are the only ones to turn out the same when crossed with any other species. And the same is a bit of a stretch considering all the shades of half-orc under the sun. So I'll ask the obvious question. We're one half-elf. What's the other half? It's not a dwarf, that's for sure. That gets you a dwarf. It's not a fawn, that's just a bog-standard elf somehow. I could go on. But I think going on with this rhetorical stuff is just going to waste your time, and we all know it. The other half of a half-elf, when left unspecified, is human. Always. That's literally how it's defined. And again, let me ask, why? Why is it defined like that? Does nobody stop to consider the implications ever... When dealing with a half-elf, a half-elf, for crying out loud, humans are the effing default. In both uses of that word. And again, this is with the elves, the prideful ones. The ones who live far longer than anyone else unaided. The ones in the top pillars of society, because they have far longer to hone their skills. The ones who don't have to sleep. The ones who, you know, get their memories of their past reincarnations back at night, because apparently that's a thing. Prival as they are, you'd kind of expect them to go for the best for their children, right? And no one ever, for some reason I cannot ascertain, seems to consider the basal implications of the default elven hybrid being human. Oh, look at those humans. They've got no special abilities. Sure, maybe it's the speed at which they can shove offspring out through their groin. Which is wrong, by the way, it's below average. But other than that, they're just the mud which everyone else is moulded from. Oh, look at those humans. Can't set themselves up anywhere. Where's the nearest human-run kingdom, huh? Where's the... Okay, no. I can't do that voice or that thought pattern any longer. It hurts. But you get what I'm saying. They aren't just the gods down to fault. They're much, much more than that. I don't know why it's so common to define races by what they can do that humans can't. That just ignores what humans can do that most everyone else can't. How many races, when their village gets attacked, have the response to pick up spears and fight back? Orcs, right? They're the military ones, right? Oh, and also the humans. But nobody ever talks about that. How many races are capable of surviving in the forests without a local guide? Fawns and elves, right? Oh, and also the humans, but nobody ever talks about that. How many races are competent miners? Dwarves, right? Oh, and also the humans, but nobody ever talks about that. How many races are competent mass farmers? Halflings, right? Can you guess what I'm going to say next? As a matter of personal pride, I must interject here. And also add that half-elves can and do do all that stuff too. But that's like saying a dove can steal your food when you live in Seagullville. But, selfishness aside, that's just more fuel to the fire, isn't it? Humans are better than almost everyone at almost everything. They consistently prove that. Sooner or later, everyone else is going to realise that and stop treating them like dung for nobody's benefit. And if I have anything to say about it, that's going to start with realising exactly why humans 
are the goddamn default for the other half of a half-elf.